So do you tend to scull your chips and pitches along the ground or you duff them or you tend to hit them really high and they stop and don't go anywhere? In other words, you're struggling with your chipping and pitching and you're not consistent. And generally what I find, and the most common problem with chipping and pitching is scooping. So just ignore my broom for the moment. This sort of action of breaking this wrist here and trying to help the ball up into the air. I know this is a broom, not a club, but you get the idea. So the reason I've got my broom today is because it's a really great way to show you what I'm talking about and a great way to give you the feeling of the correct motion. So. What you're gonna do, you're gonna take something long, it doesn't have to be a broom. This is good for another reason, which I'll tell you in a minute. Um, something that's gonna be long, so that if you were to set up with it, it's actually gonna be long enough to come up your side here. So what happens when you break your wrist, I'll whip down this way. See the end of the club will move this way, where ideally it will stay in front of you here. So if you grip down, so that it comes up the side here. If you break your wrist, it sort of hits you quite uncomfortably in the side here. So it actually stops you being able to break the wrist. So what you wanna do is continue through so that this gives you space here and it doesn't hit you in the side. So you can try this at home like I am just in the backyard keeping the hands moving through the shot. Now what happens when you do that, the club will get under the ball, the loft will kick in and lift it up for you. You get the correct distance control on the shot and you won't scull it across the green or you won't duff it in front of you. So go home, get, get outside into your backyard and do some practice and focus on keeping the end of your broom away from your side. And then what you'll notice is that the top half starts to turn through correctly and you start to, get, start to get this really great motion through the shot. So the other um, reason that you want to use a broom, just before I go to the next part of the tip, I just wanted to talk to you about my Ice Razor UV sleeves. If you're worried about skin cancer or getting sunburnt, then these are fantastic. They're 50 plus UV protective, but cool. So when you get a little bit of movement of air, you get this cooling effect, which is quite amazing. They just sit up underneath all your shirts and t-shirts, so no need for long sleeve shirts, which can be hot. Peel them off when you come in. You can wear them for golf, gardening, cycling, fishing, walking, whatever it is you do in the sun, even driving, you can feel the sun coming in. So grab yourself a pair of Ice Rays UV sleeves, one size fits all, no more worrying about sunscreen or skin cancer again. So the other um, reason that you want to use a broom is because when you're chipping, and it's the same for your full swing, but for now when you're chipping you want to feel that you're brushing through the bottom of the ball. Again if you're scooping up, see how my broom head is coming up that's when you'll scull it over the green. So imagine you're gonna brush, use the broom to brush the ground from where the ball would be through past it. In other words, don't let the end of the broom come up. So that's another way you can practice with a broom. Brushing, sweeping would be a more appropriate term. <laughs> sweeping through and just getting into this really great position here. And if you do that, do some practice at home, out in the backyard, you'll find your chipping and your pitching improves out of sight.